Hey everybody, so I wanted to show you a quick speed run of how I built this mini dashboard in Excel. We're just going to go through this one so you can start learning a little bit about how to build these things yourself. Somebody briefly mentioned they wanted a neon theme earlier and why not? <laughs> so let's hop right in. Uh, first things first, start with the clean tab and we're just going to put in our background color. We want to start by layering in our shapes. So. We're using a lot of layers in Excel. That's what makes this all possible. So we drop in our rectangle, upper left corner to get the roundness the right amount, and then use the format pane on the right here to get the fill color we want. Pinky purple color, and I'm gonna make it very transparent because we're gonna do that line as well. Let's see how that looks. We're gonna use a glow. Get that glow just about the right size, get our transparency right. So we've got our base here. So I'm gonna copy paste to drop in my sections. Copy pasting is also nice because it's going to maintain the width of the shape so we don't have to manually set this width to make it match. I really want this to stand out so uh, I think gradient's a great way to really kind of give it that big impact. Good, so now we've got the base of our design. So the next thing I'm going to do is get in that cool double pie chart. This is all using sample data set here and we're going to use this table to generate some pivot tables. We are going to click into our pivot table, go to the insert tab, hit pivot chart, so what we're going to do is go to design, change chart type, and turn it into a donut. And now we're going to do the same thing in this other one. So one pivot table is sum of sales, one is sum of profit. All right, we've got both of them here. We're going to delete them, the labels. Oh, I just like removing the borders and the background. Okay, so we're going to copy paste both of these over. And the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get my layout right. Format the series to get the right size hole in the center. Okay, so now we kind of know where these are going to go. We've got them in place. First things first, I just like getting all of my font colors so I can see them. <laughs> One of the kind of double donut chart features is that I typically try to create a little visual contrast, but slightly related colors. So we're going to do the same style on each of these. So I'm actually going to move this to the side here and get these all set up. I'm going to manually update the colors in this case. Click into an individual part, do a solid fill and then choose the color we want. Let's do like, a, we'll do like a pink. We're gonna just keep going through these. We're great. I think I like those colors. So now we're gonna go and apply the same thing over here. I think that looks okay. All right, and then we're gonna drop our other one in. Now they match, but it's a little hard to tell the difference between them. So I'm just gonna make them a little visually different. Just bring down the transparency. So I'm clicking into each color and just making them a little transparent. Cool, so I think we've got something kind of nice here. We're gonna add labels to each of our sections. We're gonna click into our chart, go to design, add chart element, data labels, show. So first thing I'm gonna do is make them so I can see them. Percentage, not value, great. So now we kinda of can do the comparison we wanna do here. Insert a text box and remove all the backgrounds and the outlines and stuff. We're gonna go into our formula bar, hit equals, and we're just gonna reference the cell we wanna pull from. So we're gonna point this one to a little value just outside the pivot table. It's just pointing to the grand total in the pivot table. Drop that in. White, make it bigger, change the font. Great, got it. Now we are gonna do the same thing. So we are gonna drop text in now. And now we're just gonna insert some shapes just to help kind of guide people through this. So I'm just gonna add a line to separate the two sections. And we're gonna make this transparent. And then we're also gonna insert a little guideline here. I'm actually gonna use the custom shape here just cause I like to have a little more control. And we're gonna customize this to look how we want. Transparency up. There we go, I think that looks a little bit better. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. There we go, we've got our two little indicators so we know what we're looking at. And I added a little glow to these as well, just to kind of make them stand out. All right, I like that. Uh, we're gonna insert some text up here in the upper left. Again, this is insert text box. In this case, I do a couple of different fonts. This is just like when you're designing a PowerPoint slide. You don't always use the same size font. You don't always use the same color. Okay, so I think this top section looks good and we're gonna move on to the little bottom section here. Okay, so to add in our uh, next chart, we have a pivot table here. It's just a product category breakdowns of sales and profit. And we're gonna insert a pivot chart. But we are gonna go to design again, change chart type, because we want a horizontal bar, in this case, not a vertical one. And I'm gonna go style this on the other page. Okay, so we drop it in and let's style this thing. Always, always 
remove my background, my border. First things first, update my font colors to match up, to have enough contrast so you can actually read them. We're going to have two bars here. Now I'm going to use a trick. You can go to the series options and you can change the overlap. 100% overlap means your bars fully overlap. So I'm going to click into these and get them kind of closer to the colors I want. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks good. Each element in Excel has the ability to customize it. Let's make our bars a little bit wider. This is going to help a little bit. Turn down our gap width. And of course, we need to add a title in here as well. All right, drop your text in there, kind of get into place wherever you want it. And let's zoom out. A couple of things here. We're really taking the time to customize our charts and we're exploring the tabs that allow us to do these kinds of customizations. And you click into shapes, you got shape formatting tabs. When you click into charts, you have chart formatting. The formatting pane window over on the right is your best friend and you want to explore all of these different design options. That is the most critical skill to develop to start doing this kind of stuff. Anyway, I hope that's helpful everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you want sample files like this, I've got a newsletter where I send these out for free on a weekly basis basis to kind of help get you started and teach you how to do it yourself. If you have any questions, let me know and let me see what y'all are working on. Thanks so much, everybody. Me and Gummy here say bye. Have a great one and I will be back soon.